another interesting episode of Beauty and Service. My name is Jennifer Obasi, and today we have another very handsome guest with us today. It's a person of Joseph Oladipo. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Um, we sincerely apologize for the absence of our co-host. As you can see, we have a new development in Youth in Service. Today we have a very interesting topic. I want you all to stay very glued to your screen as we go on the short break. See you guys soon. social media on teenagers and youth and we still have our very 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 wonderful guest with us mr mr joseph thank you so our first question is what is social media and what does social media comprise of all right thank you um social media is a computer-based technology that focuses on sharing content yeah. users to users promoting content, advertisement, etc. It's an internet-based technology, which means users can actually have access to it in an environment that has internet connection. It also has few other tech-based activities too, like blog sharing, post sharing, etc. Okay, so when we say social media, what comes to mind first of all is Facebook. So I wanted to like expand on it. Like, is it only Facebook that is the social media we're talking about, or are there other platforms? There are other social media platforms too. We have Facebook, we have Instagram, Twitter, we have LinkedIn for professional works. Yeah. Uh, we have other ones too that are not popular in Nigeria. So, what is the um, advantage of social media in general? All right, social media has so many advantages. If you ask me, the list is endless. But the ones that we uh, uh, can relate to it. It's a day-to-day -day life. Uh, it enhances communication between users to users. We connect with new people every day. There are so many opportunities on the internet, job opportunities. Uh, also, we connect with friends and families around the world, those people that are not around us or are within our environment too. Also, it facilitates um, content sharing. Yeah. People learn a lot on social media different topics, different ideas. So the list is endless. Okay, so from a personal perspective now, okay. what has social media really done for you, either positive or negative? All right, I'll, I'll, I'll say positive because I have gauge. <laughs> so social media has done so much for me because uh, I'm a creative person. I do product designs and I push my content out there on social media. So I have the opportunity to meet a large audience all around the world that appreciates what I do and you know uh, I am here for commission me for more works. Okay. 
so social media has been a very nice platform for me. I meet new people every time. I get job contracts. So it's a blessing for me. Okay, for some people, yeah. like the um, social media is like when they post something on their social media, like all these, um, what they call them, they start bullying them, like body shaming them. You see a guy posting a picture on social media and the next thing you see is like, your tummy is too big, all this kind of stuff. So how would you advise people to um, cope this kind of reaction in their social media pages? All right, uh, cyberbullying is common these days yes. because um, a lot of people personally are insecure about how they look. That is the first thing. So we need to get to the root of the problem first before we talk about what should be our reaction to issues like that. Uh, there should be a form of self-image first, a perfect self-image. If not perfect, but we should be content with what affects us. If we have a perfect self-image, you understand? So we don't control what people push out there. When you post your pictures, you post your videos, people say some things out of resentment, out of jealousy, envy, and all yeah. that, which do not logically you know, relate to you. You understand? So a very good, perfect image of oneself is very important to survive in the internet space. Thank you very much. Um, we'll be right back. We need to go on a very quick short break. See you after. Mr. Joseph Hola, Thank you very much. So our next question, do you think um, the youth should be encouraged to use social media? Yes, the social media is a, is a good place to be. But at first, we need to divine what we need from social media. Yeah. Because what you actually want is what you get. So information is very vital. Because if you are not informed, you become deformed. And the circulation of information essentially goes on on social media these days. You get news, you get what's up with people, your friends, your family. So it's very important to be up to date, to be online, to be updated. So we can't shy away from the use of social media. It's just a curated use of that social media that is very important. So um, I asked about the youth. Now, about the teenagers, you see most of them, like a lot of teenagers have this big phones, some of them are using iPhone 11, 12, and they are all on social media. Do you think that it is ideal for a teenager to um, use social media at that age? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, for teenagers, for teenagers, it depends on where they are coming from. But I actually believe in orientation. Okay. We need to let teenagers understand that. Most of the things they see online, at, uh, they are not as they are in real life. Most of the things online are not real. And uh, 
if they do not actually think about what they see and their reactions, particularly yeah. to what they see, it is very dangerous. Here in Ogun State, we have we have various cases of uh, things, news around us. There are teenagers who see stuff online and they want to try it out yeah. without uh, verifying how valid those processes are. And we know the rest of the story. So we should be able to educate them. If we want them to use social media, we should be able to educate them on their reactions to what they see. If we can't control what they see, what should be their reaction to what they see? So it's very important. So um, let's shift a bit to um, rape. You see most girls posting pictures, really, really, really nice pictures on um, their social media pages and other people view it. Do you think that um, the high rate of rape is any way related to um, social media? It depends on where those uh, events occur. If the person in question, like the rapist, yeah. in, que in, in question, you know, gets that infatuation from the social media pages, we could say, okay, it's a result of what they see on that person's page. But most times, it is not from social media but what we we'll say about that is a lot of people these days put so many sensitive contents on on, on social media yeah. they don't really care uh what people say about them they will say i own my life i don't care about what you say and it is tagged with this uh instant gratification they get there's an hormone called dopamine that dopamine is like is, is the reward in the brain so the, the likes, the shares, the view, is the same feeling when you eat a nice food, you take a bite of chocolate, and other interesting things that you want to be involved in. The reward your brain gives you is the same thing they get from likes, tweets, yeah. shares, view, and etc. So when they get that reaction, they tend to do more. So when someone, for instance, now starts a page on TikTok or Snapchat or Twitter, they will start wearing clothes normally. Yeah, it's time you remove jackets. It's time <laughs> you understand. Now yeah. people are dancing the care, they are doing all sorts of you know yes. things online that are not proper. So we should check ourselves. What do we put on there? What do we put on there? So it's very important. So um talking about um cyber crime, do you feel like um the invent of social media has in any way um increase the rate at which people um, engage or indulge in cybercrime? Well, the question is in two parts. We'll, we'll talk about the psychological effect of what they see online first, mm -hmm. then the actual act, social media as a tool to cybercrime. The psychological effect at first is uh, the reaction of people to the luxury things they see online. When you have a classmate that maybe maybe you were even brighter than the person in school. Yes. And in a few years, you see the person, you know, Posting in bands, travels, picture, thoughts, <laughs> and all that. You know, it takes lots of grace not to be envious. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you Everybody understand? Like so we, we, we can't all be the same. We are not be the same way. We come from different backgrounds, different orientations. So our reaction is different. Some people will see stuff like that and feel, well, I'm even better than this person. I should be doing better, more, better even more than this person so they go into different kind of things any option they see so cybercrime is just a part of what people do people do rituals too yeah. you know all those bad bad things we we are not promoting the society so that's the psychology part of it the other part social media being a tool is that you know uh people are able to create so many fake profiles online there's anonymity you don't know who is who Anyone, a young person can use a picture of a old man just to deceive people, scam people and all that. So those are vices in the society. Okay, thank you for talking to us today. We have really learned a lot from you. We'll go on a short break and we'll see you guys after this time. <laughs>
back guys i'm still your host jennifer obasi and we still have our guests here with us to still talk more about the topic we have on ground so um talking about the kora obidi stuff i saw on tiktok i mean instagram she was saying that um she will never ever post a relationship online again because the one she posted that something happened that she's never going do you think that um social media has any role to play in as in in a relationship a relationship generally yeah yes it has a role to play in relationships and that's that's concept of uh, social media is very very broad you know when people people seek validation yeah from social media which is uh, a very very wrong thing because at the end of the day it backfires like the case of the lady right. you mentioned mm -hmm. so when you push your relationship out there for people to give you opinions on what to do about issues you are not only disrespecting your partner yeah. you are also opening yourself to so many possibilities some people will tell you for instance you have an issue with uh, a man or husband some people will tell you is an idiot leave him yes <laughs> some people tell you well so there are good comments bad comments and some comments are even indifferent so you can't say you post a picture of an event or an issue about your family and you have like two thousand comments which one do you want to follow so at the end of the day it doesn't make sense because they are misleading they're not giving you the right direction to go about it and besides as i said earlier you are disrespecting your partner either the male counterpart or the female counterpart. What is family should be family. People out there do not really care. If we have to be honest with ourselves. They do not really care. They, don't, they know you are living good life as a celebrity or as individuals. Yeah. You are doing more than this envy by default on social media. So they don't even mind try to pull you down or try to do anything or see anything or advise you so as to make your relationship not work. So anything family, anything personal should be personal okay so are you advising that we should not post our relationships online relationships in what aspect issues your husband your spouse <laughs> your fiance you oh. say we should not post it? okay i i won't be i won't be you know on that it's it depends on your the 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 or let me say the agreement between partners you understand we have partners that are also on social media. They want yeah. it out there. They are also social media persons. We have people that are not social media persons. You can't post my picture online anyhow. You, yeah. can't say, you understand? <laughs> so there should be that sense of agreement. You understand? So if they want them to post their stuff out online for advice, then. If they don't want it, then you don't do it. All right. So how do we deal with the negative effect of social media? In general? Yeah, in general. Okay, I'll talk from my own personal view. Yeah. I wouldn't say I've had any negative effect on social media because I have built a very strong uh, mental value for myself. And what I mean by that is I choose what affects me and what does not affect me. When you go online, you see so many things. Things you want to see, things you don't want to see. But what do you take in there? That is very important. So there should be that filter yes. between what you see and what you do with it. So negative effects of social media is a result of how you even respond to the content you see on social media. So we should be able to be honest with ourselves that, okay, oh, this is what I see. This is what I want to do with it. You understand? So the negative, you can't really have a negative effect on social media if you are not deeply involved in conversations. On events in social media so um, can you imagine a world without social media like just imagine it <laughs> no Facebook no Twitter no Instagram like nothing like that how is it going to look like there will be peace <laughs> <laughs> yes yes like Let, let's social talk about the good like part first Let, let's talk about the good part first yeah honestly speaking there will be peace because um, there's so many fake news going on around yeah. with the presence of social media. Uh, we don't know what is true. Once you see it, just 
mm. believe it. There are scandals. There, you know, that has direct effect on people. Uh, I was reading last week about a guy that committed suicide uh, two years ago. They're doing remembrance. The guy was, you know, accused of uh, sexual assault. Yeah, I and he, he couldn't take it, so he had to take his own life. So there will be peace because what actually affected that person is the direct insults he got from the social media. People do not want to verify whether the true story is true or not. They just want to bully. It is true. <laughs> you are a bad person. You are. You understand. Yeah. So number one, there will be peace. Number two. That's, that's one of the good parts. Number two is that we'll resort into reading books again. People do not read books again. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to be on there, 247, yeah, WhatsApp, so Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So we'll have more time to read books because the, the essence of book, the importance of book cannot be underestimated. When you read, you become a better person. You learn about so many things. So those are the advantages, just to call it short. Uh, the world without social media we have to go out to meet more people. Like, we we'll go out more yeah. in order to meet people. We have virtual meetings now. You can hold virtual meetings around the world. I work remotely. Yes. Yeah, I work with uh, guys from the US. I, I don't have to be there. I've not been outside the country before. Mm. But social media, social media has you. helped that, you understand, has breached that gap between you know, the internet in general. Mm. So we we'll have to go out to meet more people. Then, without social media, there will, there will be this comeback of letters, postcard, etc. Then, if we are to take off social media, bam, at once, a lot of people will fall into depression. Yes, uh, that's true. A lot of people will fall into depression because uh, most people find peace going online. Uh, although Just we don't, we, we don't encourage phone. that because human interaction cannot be replaced by anything, which is very important. Thank you very much. So, um, let's talk about the various opportunities you can get via social media. Yeah. Like, what are the opportunities you can get on social media? Okay, from the last question, a lot of people will be unemployed. Yeah. Without um, social, media. social media and internet. Slash, uh, internet. So, uh, opportunities are endless with the invent of internet and social media, essentially. So, people get jobs online. There are jobs online. People get offers for auditions, for different programs, scholarships. It doesn't have to be in your host country. It doesn't have to be in your host community. So there are a lot of goodies online when you explore the right content. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you very much. So before we end this show, we always have a riddle for our guests. Hope you are ready for us. I'll try. So the riddle is, what breaks and never falls? And what falls but never break? Come again, please. What breaks and never fall? And what falls but never break? <laughs> Should I help you? <laughs> help me, please. <laughs> Day breaks, night fall. Ah, how am I supposed to think about that? <laughs> Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. And that's it, guys. Thank you for staying right with us. We'll see you next week. I still remain your very, very beautiful host, Jennifer Obasi. Bye.